Well, the pause to the operation is going to end tomorrow night at 19 GMT. And since we've been in uh, Jalan Pinar, the Turkish side of the border, uh, since the morning, the other side is Rasul and we've been hearing sporadic gunfire. The military sources we're in touch with, uh, in touch with say that there are still uh, some people remaining in Ras al Ain uh, that are affiliated with the PKK YPG. The military also says that they've opened up a road. They've identified which roads these uh, elements should use to evacuate Ras al Ain. But they say that some of these elements are hardcore PKK loyalists and they will not leave the city. Uh, we have also seen and heard Turkish drones flying above, uh, above our heads. Uh, the Turkish military says that these drones are monitoring the withdrawal of YPG PKK terrorists from the border area. The Turkish military has also told us that the situation in Ras al Ain is under the Turkish military's control at the moment. There remains civilians inside the city in areas that are controlled by the Turkish military and the Turkish-backed Syrian National Army. However, it's very risky inside because the PKK has left behind booby-trapped homes, IEDs, and mines, and they've already had to send several people across the border from Syria into Turkey who have had amputations because of these kinds of explosions. Uh, the situation on the border is quite tense. The military is very concerned that once the uh, the uh, the time for the operation to go back into effect, uh, it, the situation could get quite violent. The PKK is not willing to pull away from the border. Some observers are suggesting that we might be seeing a split between some YPG fighters and PKK fighters, some commanders that are affiliated with the PKK organization are refusing any kind of withdrawal from the border areas and refusing to commit to the agreement between Turkey and America. And so the concern is that as soon as the time is up, that the PKK would start to launch uh, operations against the Turkish military and the Syrian National Army, as well as cross-border attacks. In the first few days of the uh, Operation Peace Spring, there were more than 900 mortars launched from Syria into Turkey, killing 20 civilians and wounding over 200 people. All of those mortars launched by the YPG and the PKK. And this is the main concern for Turkey. Schools have been closed for the next week uh, in case any kinds of attacks might occur. Uh, for now, Turkey says once the time is up, if the PKK do not leave the border area, the operation will start from where it stopped.